everyone, welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making seafood quiche. Now, I know we have another quiche recipe, um, but that has ham and stuff in it. And I just want to kind of show you a different version of that. So let's get started. You're going to need two packages of croissant rolls. You're going to need a pretty good size, um, I think it's like a 9 inch or 10 inch, probably 10 inch pie plate deep. Alright, so just let these fall in there, or wherever they fall. Except the floor. Except the floor. And then I'm going to unroll these. And what you do is you just kind of lay them around your dish. You're making, this is your crust. So you kind of want to overlap, have no holes showing. And don't worry if it's ripped and stuff like that. We have plenty to fix it. Let me get my knife. Oh, no. No, this is the little one I won't cut myself. I have to go get another <laughs> box of band-aids. Uh, I tell you. In one of those weeks. Changed her name to Slice. Okay. And just keep going around your dish until it's totally filled up. I'll get a shot of that after she gets done. Alright, now that I have my croissant rolls in the bottom of my pan, just make sure you have no open um, spots. It doesn't have to look pretty. You're not going to see it. Now, um, with the leftover rolls, you'll have like, I don't know, a couple leftover rolls. I just bake them off and eat them with the quiche. So, you're going to set your oven to 350. In a bowl, you're going to get six eggs and you're going to beat them with some salt and pepper to taste. Make sure you beat it really good and then we're going to put our milk in. I'm using um, a half a cup of heavy cream. The heavy cream just makes this so much better, you guys. But if you don't have it, just use any kind of milk you have. I would say don't use skim or 1%. It's going to be too, too runny. Now, I've cooked my shrimp in the oven. We have a recipe for that. I'll have Jack put the link for you so you can follow that recipe and make the shrimp. And if you have leftover shrimp, make shrimp cocktails with it. It's delicious. All right, so I'm going to put my milk in with my eggs, half a cup. This is great for like brunches or like if you're having a morning breakfast for somebody. Okay. Now I'm going to mix that in. It's great for lunch. It's great for dinner. It it's is. just great. Especially the seafood one. You can do it any, any time. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, this is all up to you guys. I'm going to use all white cheeses. I find that the white cheeses taste better with the seafood. So I'm going to put in a handful of sweet onions. I'm going to put in a few mushrooms that I made last night. I'm making two quiches, so we're, we're kind of mixing things together, doing half and half of everything. All right, and then I have um, some um, string cheese. This is just my preference. I love the string cheese in it. I'm just going to cut it up real small. It kind of gives it a chewy um, consistency in places with this cheese. I, I really like that. It's kind of string cheesy. No, it's chewy, not stringy. I'm having a hard time cutting today because I cut my fing my first finger off yesterday and it's so sore. And her pinky the day before. Yeah, and I cut my pinky the day before, but I cut my pinky out gardening, not cooking. All right, let's get all this in there. I just did three sticks of that. Do as much as you want or as little as you want. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of um, Trader Joe's Swiss Gruyere, probably about a little bit of a handful, and I'm going to do some unexpected cheddar. I, have, I just pull my stuff out of the freezer so I can put it back in if I don't use it. Oh, we'll put it all in there only a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to start with my seafoods. So, over here I have um, some Longestinos. 
that I'm going to put in. Now, use whatever seafood you like. I'm doing longestinos, shrimp, and the fake crab. So I'm going to just cut these longestinos just a little bit because they're a little bit big. Just cut them in half. I got these longestinos at um, Wegmans. I do not know who else carries them. I have not been able to find them other than at Wegmans. So. Yeah, and it's a two pound bag at Wegmans. Yeah. Been getting. And just kind of measure how much seafood you guys want in it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, that's about half. It goes in there. I'm going to do some of the, my fake crab. You can use real crab if you want. I'm just using the fake because that's what I had in my freezer. And I'm trying to clean out the freezers. So whatever is in there is getting used right now. Some crab. And if you're not into seafood, go ahead and check out the other ones we have. I think they're ham and um, asparagus. But you can substitute any of the meats and veggies that you guys like. Pork chops, steaks. Whatever you, you know, want. Roast. Alright, that's about half of that. Chicken. And then I will get the shrimp. And I am putting broccoli into this one. Um, I, I love um, asparagus, but I could not find it. Now, my shrimps, I'm just cutting them into little pieces, putting them in. I used the steamed broccoli, and I steamed it beforehand and drained it. I like to cook my broccoli ahead of time. You don't have to. I like to because I like mine a little bit softer. I don't want to get crunchy. And while you watch me do this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really does help us out, guys. And once you subscribe, go down and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified three times a week when we put out our videos. Right. Alright, so now I'm going to put some broccoli in here. I'm only putting broccoli in one of them because people, some people don't like broccoli. So I'm only going to do one broccoli. Because broccoli is not a seafood. Right. Put as much or as little as you want in here. I love fresh corn off the cob, not cooked. Just cut it and put it in. I love that. Jack doesn't like it, so I'm not doing that. But I like the corn in my seafood. You like corn in everything. I know I do. Okay. And these quiches, after they're baked, they freeze wonderful. We wouldn't know because they don't last that long. No, they don't last that long in our house, but... You just cut it into bite-sized pieces, that's all. Alright, let me see how that looks. Let's see if I need to put any more in. Jeez. Now it may look a little dry. Do not add more eggs. You don't need it. Believe me. If anything, pick out the broccoli. <laughs> And that is why I am behind the camera. All right, and then I'm just going to pour it into my pie plate. And see if you added any more egg, it would not fit. Scrape your bowl and get everything out. All right, now this is going to go into an oven at 350 degrees. 
for one hour or when you stick a, the tip of a knife into the center, it comes out clean. It may have a little cheese on it, but no, no egg. egg. All right, mine took a, an hour and 15 minutes, but check it in at an hour. Like I said, if you're, the tip of your knife comes out clean, it's ready, okay? Here's our finished product, and I have to say, it's really, really good. You guys try this. I am telling you, you won't be disappointed. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.